Hi everyone, it's Lisa again. I'm going to be talking about something called concurrent events in coding. So let's give it a try. What I'd like you to do right now is try to tap your head with your right hand and then rub your belly or your tummy with your left hand. Can you try those at the same time? Are you able to do it? Was it kind of tricky? Okay, so let's try that again, but now let's switch hands. So now I'm gonna use my left hand to tap my head and my right he hand to rub my tummy. Might be a little trickier switching hands, I don't know. Some people are really good at it, but if you're like me, you might struggle a little bit. Let's try some more of those. Okay, so now while you're sitting, I want you to take your right foot Okay, and move clockwise. So the same direction the clock would turn. Okay, so clockwise to the right. So move your right foot in a circle to the right. And then while you're doing that, you have to take your right hand and try and draw ah, a number six. And see if you can still make your right foot move in a clockwise direction. Can you still do it? Draw the six and moving your right foot in a clockwise direction at the same time. Was it hard? Okay, well now I want you to switch legs and switch hands. So now you're going to do your left foot in a clockwise direction and use your left hand to draw a six. See if you can do that. So you're drawing a six and turning your left foot in the clockwise direction. My foot keeps changing directions. I don't know about yours. Okay, so you can try that again a little bit more later. Maybe you can challenge someone in your household to do that too. All right, let's try one more. So now what I want you to do is turn your head to the right and then stick out your tongue to the left. You might look a little silly doing this. Okay, was that tricky? That one's a little easier for me, but now I want you to switch sides. So let's turn our head to the left and stick our tongue out to the right. Could you do it? Again, you probably looked a little silly. That one for some reason is a little bit easier for me. They think that this is hard because you're using the same part of your brain to try and do both of those actions at the same time. In coding, when we have two or more events happening at the same time, we call them concurrent events. So concurrent events is when you have two things happening at the same time. Let's have a look at what that looks like with coding. So we're going to use Scratch Junior to see what it looks like to have concurrent events in our code. So I'm going to open up my Scratch Junior. You can see I have my program from before where I made a pattern. So when I run the code right now, my green fish goes forward, hops, turns forward, hops, turns, forward, hops, and turns. Now what I'd like to do is add a second fish, and I'm going to make it so when I run the code, it does it at the same time as the green fish, so it will be happening concurrently. So I'm gonna add a new fish. I'm gonna use the yellow fish now, and I'm gonna write code to make my fish move. I'm gonna make this fish go up, then I'm gonna make my fish turn around a full rotation and then I'm going to make my fish um, how about we make the fish go down so my pattern for my fish is up turn down up turn down now right now it is only going through one time so we need to make it a repeated pattern so I want it to do up turn down again there we go. So we're going to do that one more time, right? Because if I want it to be a repeated pattern, I need to repeat it. So I've got A, B, C, A, B, C, up, turn, down, up, turn, down. Let's do that again. Up, turn, and down. Okay. So I'm going to start my two fish at the same time and I'm gonna hit my green flag. So when I hit that green flag, both fish are gonna move at the same time. So the code is going to be run 
concurrently. Let's see if it works. There, you see my green fish moving and my yellow fish going up, turning him down. Let's run it again and see them run concurrently. Up, turn, down, up, turn, down. And then meanwhile, my green fish is moving forward, hopping, and turning. So both of those events are happening concurrently at the same time, uh, even though we have, so we have code for each fish that's different, it's separate. But when you run it, it happens at the same time. So that's concurrent events encoding. coding.